بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين It proceeds then that the creed of Islam the creed of أهل السنة and when you put the term sunna in its general meaning it means Islam and Islam is sunna and the sunna is Islam This creed is the creed of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This creed is the creed of his companions. May Allah be pleased with them all. And anyone who opposes that, then he subjects himself to the severe punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his wrath. There are ways and means that brings to the attention of the believers and puts before them this creed such means and ways could be through lectures it could be through other ways of communications including of course writing and authorship and from the treaties on this creed is the creed entitled or the book entitled the correct creed by the young Sheikh Dr. Abdul Salam bin Burgess, may Allah's mercy be upon him, who died recently and whom we gave a biography in the first lecture about him. We all know that the Prophet والسلام, described that this Ummah will divide into 73 sects. All of them in hellfire except one. And this one the definition of it which was made clear by him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man kana ala mithli ma ana alayhi wa ashabi alayhi whoever is on that which I am upon and my companions are upon today this is the criteria to hold firm to the way of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in creed and in actions and to the way of his followers from the companions and on top of them are the four rightly guided caliphs Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali This path is one group who holds to the following creed. Number one, that Allah, the Most High, is singled alone singled out in creation, kingdom, and running of affairs. قال الله تعالى في سورة الأعراف chapter 7 verse 54 إن ربكم الله 
الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش يغشي الليل النهار يطلبه حثيثا والشمس والقمر والنجوم مسخرات بأمره ألا له الخلق والأمر تبارك الله رب العالمين Indeed your Lord is Allah Who created the heavens and the earth in six days And then he stawa Rose over, ascended the throne Really in a manner that suits his majesty He brings the night as a cover over the day Seeking it rapidly And he created the sun, the moon, the stars Subjected to his command Surely he, his is the creation and commandment Blessed be Allah the Lord of all that exists And he said subhanahu wa ta'ala About himself In surah al-shura 42-49 Lillahi mulku samawati wal ard Yakhluqu ma yasha To Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth He creates what he wills And he bestows female offspring upon whom he wills And bestows male offspring upon whom he wills And in Surah Al-Hadid Verse 2 قال الله تعالى له ملك السماوات والأرض يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth It is he who gives life and causes death and he is able to do all things this singling Allah alone in creation in the kingdom and in running the affairs is known as Tawheed al rububiyyah is known as Tawheed this is its meaning To single Allah alone in lordship Meaning that he is the creator To him belongs everything